Suffering is not an objection which is particular to one person or another. It's the most challenging question that can be posed to a theist, especially a Christian theist. Everywhere I go, this is a question that people ask, and understandably so. I think as a Christian I need to admit this is a big question, this is a big objection. Vince has done such groundbreaking work in this subject uh, in his dissertation here at Oxford University. I thought if I came about it from one angle and from an Easterner's perspective, he came, in, came about it from a Westerner's perspective, the confluence would bring some new light. We're able to bring different angles, able to bring different perspectives. Oftentimes it's assumed that there's only one or two Christian responses to this objection. Uh, we argue in the book that there are ten or more, some of them never before published. And we think the strength of the responses is not in pitting one of them against another, but actually in their cumulative force. What I have dealt with is dealt from the skeptic's point of view, uh, the moral issue, from the uh, pantheist point of view, Hinduism and Buddhism particularly, and then the other theistic perspectives, namely Islam. What does Islam have to say about the problem of evil and suffering? What does the skeptic have to say about it? The biggest struggle the skeptic has always had is with the moral argument for the existence of God, meaning that moral values only exist if God exists. But is it true that moral values exist? How do we know that? So these are the issues that I try to unpack. We try to raise a lot of questions in the book, and hopefully we're able to answer quite a number of them as well. Uh, and some of these questions, I think, are, are going to be challenging uh, to anyone, regardless of whether you're a Christian or you're not sure what you believe, or perhaps you don't believe at all. This is a very meaningful thing for my own life, that the gospel is a story. That in that story, there is an author. That author identifies the various components of the undeniable realities of life. The supreme ethic is love. And yet, in that loving supreme ethic, we see evil and suffering as well. For the skeptic, we think we've got some counter-perspectives here. And that means the Christian thinker has got some responses to give to the questioner, but hopefully going beyond that to bring comfort to the ones who are hurting too.